All right, so I just finished my uh, walk going north. I really don't plan on making these videos like a regular thing. Uh, maybe if I see something neat or something. But I mentioned I might take a video of the way north. Uh, there's not really going to be a lot you didn't see on the other one, you know. But it's cool. It's pretty. I mean, it's definitely a lot prettier up that way. There's some weird statues and shit. Um, so, you know, it's going to be shorter if you want to take a look. I should kind of show you that, yeah, you know, like you got all this weird kind of ghetto shit going on. But CM Reap can, can be pretty even in town. So why the weather's so nice out, I guess. I'll show you the north road. It really is prettier this way, and the weather's cooler because the trees get a little denser. Um, I don't go this way as much because I don't like the coffee as much, and uh, there's no shopping really, you know. You got a couple of bodega marts and shit, but those things are everywhere, so there's really nothing special about those. Um, there are a lot more statues. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, lots and lots of statues tucked around the road here. I'll show you some more pictures when I get farther down. So until recently, those two boats, I don't know if you can see them down there. Um, they're kind of cool, neat little, like, obviously handmade ceremonial boats. And they were up here, and uh, one morning I was here, and there were some shit kids. Fucking, they're heavy as fuck, like, uh, trying to push them in the river. And I, you know, it ain't none of my fucking business. What am I going to do? Uh, so I just kind of gave them a dirty look and just kept on walking. And then the next day, there they are, you know. Kids are shitty everywhere in the world, always breaking shit and ruining nice shit. I was that way, too. So I see these weird fucking things. Like... Uh, I don't know what they are. I don't know if they're holding cannons or what. One of the smart temple guys here probably knows. And then there are these bathtubs. Again, like, you can tell. Like, somebody made these things. Uh, yeah, like, I guess maybe there was, like, a stone carving shop right here or something. Like, there's always guys fishing and shit in the river. Uh... Yeah, I have no fucking idea, but I always thought these things were weird as hell. So, this is a view north. That's the direction I'm going. Maybe another kilometer or so. Um, it really is, like I said, you know, it's a lot fucking prettier down this way. And it opens up to a lot more green space for Finch and you can walk around. Something I want to show you is there's a park right there. Uh, something I think uh, Americans in particular take uh, for granted. It's fucking parks, like public green spaces. Granted, they got a lot of temples and shit here, but I, in my mind, that's not the same. Um, all of Southeast Asia, everywhere I've been, just like big parks and green spaces for people to walk around in and hang out in and shit. They are so fucking rare. It's crazy. Um, so it's kind of cool to live next to one. I don't go there a whole lot. Finch makes a lot of the kids uncomfortable, you know, um, so if there's a lot of kids playing... I'll, uh, you know, I'll just move on, but it is still nice to have, and it's nice to see. And you can see better on this side, like, uh, it really is. There's a lot more space and shit, and, uh, since we're so close in a town, there are some snakes, but nowhere near as much as I'd have to worry about a little farther out of town. Um, and Finch can give me a heads up, you know, like, uh, he's pretty good at sniffing out snakes and leaving them alone. This is another temple here, and then like if you check out down here, uh, these guys, they're like little roadside mechanics, and they sell whatever the hell, like anywhere there's a space of five to ten feet or more, um, especially on the roadside, somebody is usually going to set up shop, like <laughs> they're going to post up and run a business, uh, just wanted to show you that. So I don't walk on the other side of the street. Um, I think it's like a school or some shit over there. And it, there's actually like a nice walkway, but the next bridge down past my coffee spot is kind of far. And there's really nothing on that side of the street. It, uh, Finch, you know, he's more comfortable. You know, and I like it better too, kind of walking through these little, this little patch of woods by the river, you know. Um, so yeah, there's, there's an actual sidewalk. For most of the river on one side or the other if you want to walk on a sidewalk. I feel kind of bad now because Finch really does. He likes this way more. I want to show you this. So this is a burn pile. Um, they burn like most of their garbage here. Like a lot of their garbage here. And especially along the riverside. They'll just every once in a while they'll come out and sweep up and get everything in a pile. You know. 
and then burn it. So I see these guys a lot. Um, they're always out here, like carving all these statues. Some of them look really cool, you know? My coffee place is right there. Yeah, my coffee place was closed. I thought it would be. Like, uh, I really do need to bring Finch up more this way. Like, it's fucking pretty, and I just, I guess I'm being selfish. Like, he likes this walk a lot more. Uh, it's just a little longer, and there's not much to do. And I guess now there's no fucking coffee either, but whatever. First world problems. Six, this is where I loop back around. It's telling it where the river road ends as you go north. There's this kind of a dirt road if you kind of weave around it, but it's this construction and shit. It's just not where the six is like the main highway in town. If you look right down there, there's a road that continues to go north. That's the road to Angkor Wat. So to put it in perspective, you know, I'm two miles, almost on the button. Uh, two miles, so I go down there a little bit, take a right. Two miles down the road, you're in Angkor Wat. So this is the this is the north end. Come here, Finch. Come on, bud. Come on. This is the north end of the road. Like I said, it's uh, it's definitely uh, a lot quieter on this side and a lot more rural. There are some schools and shit on this side, but uh, there's no shopping or anything. There's really nothing here but just kind of a a countryside walk, if you will. Somebody asked, how do I know if it's too hot for Finch? Uh, it's really easy to tell, actually. If his tail is up, he's having a good time. If his tail is down, he's having a shitty time. It's like a little uh, thermometer. So right now, he's fucking loving it. By the time we get home, he's probably going to be fucking done. But uh, right now, he's like, yeah, fucking let's keep going. So this is the sidewalk I mentioned. Like, if you don't feel like hiking along the riverside and shit, uh, this side from here down... As far south of I, as I've walked, there's a continuous sidewalk. But you saw yesterday where all those shops and shit are set up. There are huge parts of the sidewalk here and there that just businesses have kind of camped out on. Um, so you're still going to need to walk in the street for, you know, decent parts here and there. But still, you know, like, there's a, there's a fucking sidewalk like a, like a real country, you know, if you so choose to walk on it say it is really fucking pretty out here sometimes like i forget because i get so used to it but uh even in a town with all the construction and shit and i'm, I'm in the second biggest city in uh, cambodia you can still kind of feel like you're fucking out there you know uh out in the out in the woods like it's nice see that's the tail i was talking about that's the uh time to go home tail which is convenient because uh, we're home Finch, what'd you think of your walk, huh? You a happy dog? I love you, buddy.